iDVD08 includes several tools for fine-tuning your DVD before burning to disk. To access these features, choose Project Info from the Project menu. At the top of the Project Info window, you can quickly edit the name of your DVD. You can also change the aspect ratios of menus on the DVD. If you do so, be sure to check that titles and images haven't been cropped out in the process. If you're sending your DVD to someone in another country, you can also change the video mode to match the TV standard of their country, either NTSC or PAL. Next, choose the encoding mode for your DVD. This is the method iDVD will use to convert your movies, menus, and photos ready for playback on DVD. The default mode, Best Performance, is the fastest, since it encodes your movies in the background while you build your project. It's the best choice for projects under an hour. For longer projects, choose between high quality and professional quality. Professional quality takes much longer to process, so only choose this if you're prepared to wait a while before burning the final DVD. To the right is a menu for choosing between single and double layer recordable DVDs. For most projects, stay with single layer DVDs. They're more likely to play back on a variety of DVD players. A capacity bar below these menu options shows how much space on the final DVD will be used by your content. Add additional movies and slideshows to your project, and the bar grows as the space is filled. If the capacity arrow stays within the green quality zone, your DVD will look great at the current encoding settings. If the arrow moves into the yellow or even red, you may want to try the professional quality encoding mode instead. Close the project info window once you've completed your adjustments. Before burning your project to disk, you can use iDVD to preview the project to ensure proper playback. In the main window, click the Preview DVD Playback button iDVD opens the project in a new window and displays a virtual DVD remote. Navigate through your menus, clicking on all of your buttons to make sure everything works as planned. When you're satisfied, click Exit on the remote to return to the main window. To burn your project to disk, click the Burn button iDVD will ask you to insert a blank recordable DVD into your optical drive. When finished, iDVD will eject the disk. You can burn multiple copies by inserting another disk when prompted. Additional copies will usually burn much faster than the first. When you're finished burning, click Done.